Hi guys, today's topic, why you want to use your 80 volt battery for your e-bike, stay tuned. So the main reason to use a higher wattage is the speed. So the common e-bike on the market uh, is limited speed around 20 to 25 mile per hour. I mean, it's whenever you just use a motor is limited in that in that range so when you want to increase your speed the easy way is just increase your voltage from the battery that's very simple so think about the most uh, common uh, e-bike is uh, use a 48 volt so it's a 48 volt system if you use a 80 volt so you almost double the wattage, which means you can almost double the speed <laughs> if you want to. I mean, <laughs> more speed always more dangerous. <laughs> okay, yeah. But I just want to talk about you know why you want to use a you know higher wattage for your e bag. Uh, also, I made an adapter just uh, you know dedicated for the e bag. It will fit for the green work 80 volt batteries. So basically, you can just slide in, you know, and then there's terminal, you know, you connect to your uh, speed controller, and that's how it work. And uh, this adapter has, uh, you can, uh, you know, this two hole in the middle can just hook up on your uh, uh, water bottle holder. It's the same standard. And there's a channel, you know, fit on the frame, and you know, hook up with the the, the two holes with your water bottle place. Uh, if it's not really uh, in a good position, you can also use this four hole, you know, to hook up on your frame. Very simple. So once you hook up on your frame, and you slide in your battery, it's really steady if you not move anywhere mm -hmm. so yeah those are ready for your order on my website and uh, uh, let's talk about more about the motor so this is a common motor you know the hub motor the bafang hub motor it's a very common motor on the market so this is a 750 watt motor so why they make a 750 watt motor? Because it's a street legal. The, the, because it's considered that's the only street legal. Whenever you above 750 watt, it will be more considered like a you know motorcycle, not a bicycle. <laughs> so more likely you have to you know got a registration and license everything. So. <clears throat> That's why they made a, you know, 750 watt hub motor and uh, just to me that's really legal. But the tricky part is, think about this, uh, 750 watt is really uh, count down the, you know, the wattage. It's count down the 48 volt, you know, so if you increase your uh, wattage to 80 volt so this will be more like a you know uh 1700 watt motor you know so whenever you increase your wattage you actually increase your power so i don't i i don't really got it why they uh, actually you know mark the uh, brushless motor with uh, watt because it's not really a, it's not really a good way to mark the brushless motor with watt because the motor actually suppose count down the current the motor has a limited current so that the maximum the current the motor can stay with it's not really limited by the watt because the watt it's uh, like a voltage multiplied by the current 
and whenever you can increase a lot of voltage and you can you know increase your watt you know it doesn't really depend on the watt so it doesn't so the watt doesn't really tell you know the actually the motor capability uh, it should be uh, marked with uh, you know current since uh, you know a lot of uh, speed controller actually mark with current that's that's a really good way to tell that uh, speed controller it's the same thing the motor should be you know mark it's like a current not really you know mark with the watt it's it just uh, you know tricky part okay uh, let's talk about some downside so you know when you when you increase your uh, voltage you know use uh, 80 volt watt so which you almost double your speed and uh, there there's some legal issue as here you know so the straight legal I believe is uh, below I think it's below 28 mile per hour. That's a street legal. So if you, you know, drive your e back over that speed and the police stop you, you definitely will get a ticket. You know, because whenever it's over 28 mile per hour, will be more considered like a motorcycle, not a really a bicycle. So, so. Basically, if you use a 80 volt battery to power up your e bike your e bike more considerably uh, electric motorcycle. <laughs> you know, not more, not more e bike anymore. But uh, yeah, like I say, that's kind of tricky part because you can show the police that uh, your motor actually is only a, you know, 750 watt. It's is straight legal i mean but uh usually police probably don't understand that you actually put a higher voltage that you you put a higher uh, voltage for your e back to to uh, increase your speed um, but anyway whenever you increase your speed you have to consider a lot of stuff like uh think about when you when you drive so fast a little bumpy stuff can get you crashed so be careful with the speed okay so yeah that's uh that's today's topic and uh, also i just make clear that uh since uh, if you use a cobo 80 volt battery so it will not fit with the green work because the trail because the rail uh, the rail the location with the rail is different so you have to uh, order you know the adapter just made for cobble and uh, I have those options on the website just want to make clear with those things so that every company will make a little different between another company you know just show their brand name, you know, that's the things, okay? Okay, that's uh, today's topic. Whenever you want to increase your speed of your e bike, simply just increase your battery power, okay? We'll see you next time.